Is started a cleaning business worth it? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleanbiz.com. Well, you know, uh, maybe uh, a lot of people could probably debate that question. Uh, is it worth it to start a cleaning company? I would have to say it definitely is. Uh, you know, over the last 33 years, we've owned uh, and started and, uh, and built two uh, successful cleaning companies in two different states. Uh, so I know firsthand that it is worth it. Um, you know, but it's a lot of work. You know, you have to have systems. Uh, you have to have a lot of things uh, in place in order to uh, for it to be successful. Uh, you got to be willing to put in the time and the hard work that it takes uh, to build a business. But I tell you, it, it it is definitely worth it. Um, when I first started my first uh, cleaning company, this was back in the '80s. Um, you know, I did that uh, because I fulfilled a need for a person and. Uh, so, you know, by fulfilling that need, uh, I started my cleaning company. It was Hanson Building Maintenance. And with that uh, cleaning service, I started off with a 14,000 square foot uh, building, and I was cleaning that five days per week. And uh, back then, uh, with that building, I think I was only getting paid $500 a month. So, you know, you got to remember, I, just, I was just getting started, knew nothing about the industry. And uh, so I, yeah, maybe I was being taken advantage of a little bit, but that's okay. You know, it was a learning experience. Uh, within the first year, I had actually I had hired my first employee, and uh, you know, from there we just continued to grow it. Um, so throughout the years, you know, uh, that uh, business there, I think we uh, had worked it for 15 or 16 years, and uh, by the time we were re uh, ready to sell, uh, we had a very successful company. Um, and, you know, we were doing, uh, I think about 80 or 90 locations maybe is what we had. And uh, we, we, they all varied from anywhere from three days per week, five days per week. Uh, we did have a couple of seven day per week accounts there. Um, but, you know, the, the whole thing is that uh, through the years I was able to study and learn the industry. And I learned a lot about pricing and that, you know, I, uh, and I developed my production rates and things like that there. You know, so a lot of it I learned on my own and uh, because there was no internet. But, you know, that's the thing is that uh, today is, it makes it so simple. Everything is uh, YouTube, uh, you know, you can go on Facebook and other social media sites and you can go in these groups and, and get some, some good information, but a lot of bad information too. But anyway... Um, it's still worth it, you know, uh, like I say, uh, if you want to take charge and, and, and control your own destiny uh, and you're willing to work hard, uh, you can definitely uh, make a very, very good living uh, owning a cleaning company. Now, you know, some people may think that uh, the cleaning business is just a low pay job. Um, well, not necessarily. Uh, I'll tell you that uh, you know, you can make any amount of money that you want uh, in the cleaning industry, um, especially as an owner, because as an owner, you know, I know people that are solo entrepreneurs that are, that are doing, you know, quarter of a million dollars a year. I know other companies that have uh, thousands of employees that are doing 350 million a year. Um, so, you know, you can, you can see there's a wide variety of, of uh, uh, companies that are in there. The biggest range of, of companies that make up the industry are companies that are doing under $1 million uh, of revenue per year. And, uh, you know, when you start thinking about that, you know, $500,000, $700,000, uh, $1 million in revenue, you know, that's a lot of money. Uh, so, you know, and you as a business owner, you will be able to, you know, make your fair share, uh, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a fact that, uh, is, it worth, uh, is it worth having a cleaning company? Yes, it is. Uh, you know, so uh, is it is it worth the, to have a cleaning service? Yeah, because you can you can make some very good money at it. You can live comfortable. You can take it to whatever level you want. It's entirely up to you. You know, and that's what we do at the janitorial store. Is you know, after after we sold our second cleaning company, uh, that was in uh, in uh, uh, two thousand nine, when we sold that second cleaning company. You know, we decided, or I decided, uh, that I needed to focus on just helping other people. I continue to, to have brick and mortar companies, uh, cleaning companies, which I did, you know, residential cleaning, I've done that. Uh, and, uh, you know, I also uh, had some other commercial cleaning companies, you know, uh, during my uh, non-compete periods and after that, after my non-competes have expired, I, I started more 
uh, commercial cleaning companies. Uh, very few people even know that about me, but uh, that's what I did. And uh, you know, I had to decide though because I was getting pulled in so many different directions. Uh, what I was going to do was I going to keep the brick and mortar cleaning companies or was I going to concentrate on the janitorial store and my house cleaning biz and help others build successful companies and that's what I decided to do so that's all I do now is I just help others uh, build successful cleaning companies and uh, I'm able to do that because of the, the wealth of experience that I have uh, from building uh, two successful cleaning companies and having and owning multiple cleaning companies through over, over the years so yes it, it's worth it um, like I say, if you're willing to work hard, uh, put in the time, learn, and you know the key is uh, is to implement what you learn. Uh, that's the only way that you're really going to be able to grow or scale your business. So as long as you do that, you'll be fine. Uh, so if you're thinking about it, or if you're on the fence about starting a cleaning service, yes, it's worth it. So go ahead and pull the trigger, and. Uh, you know, some people they'll uh, have a full-time job and they'll they'll clean at night if they're doing a commercial cleaning company. You know, others will work part-time and, and work their cleaning company part-time. But there will be a time when you have to make that step off that ledge to go full-time into your business, and it's going to be a scary thing. You know, but the thing is, is that you have resources like us at the janitorial store and my house cleaning biz. We're here to help you. We can take you through every part of the steps that you have to take. Uh, remember, we've been there, done that, and we've, we've helped many, many others. So, but when you decide to take that step, it's going to be a scary one, but when you take that step, don't ever look back. Take the step and just keep looking forward and moving forward. Uh, never look back on, on what could have and should have been. Don't do that. Just focus on, uh, focus on what you're doing and you'll be fine. Work hard and uh, implement what you learn from the janitorial store in my house cleaning biz. And, and other uh, experts that are out in the uh, out there in the industry. So that's my take on it. And uh, hopefully you found this useful. And if you have, go ahead and click on a uh, like button and share button. And uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel, again, you know you're going to find uh, uh, hundreds of uh, videos on uh, how to how to start a cleaning business and uh, various tips of uh, different procedures and systems. And uh, and if you do, uh, go to the janitorial store of my house cleaning biz and uh, take, a look at our, take a look at our memberships. Uh, they're very inexpensive, wealth of uh, value there. And um, you're also going to find a Clean Smart University, which is a, a great place to have your employee training, employee and management training. And we also have the uh, uh, CSU Business Library, where we have over 8,000 training videos. Uh, nobody even comes close to what we have for, for training. Uh, so... You know, check it out. Uh, you you just you won't go wrong in that. Uh, you know, the the more you learn, uh, the better you get. So uh, never stop learning. So until next time, thanks.